Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And I think most of you guys are pretty much well aware that Vegas Creative Software just recently released the new version of Vegas Pro, which is the version 20. As the title suggests, this is the end of Vegas Pro, but in a good way actually. You see, Vegas Creative Software decided to get rid of the numbering or the version of the program so they could focus just on continuous delivery of the software in a form of update. So they no longer need to, you know, make a completely new version and release it every year, whereby they could just focus on creating an update, which improved the program from time to time. Just like Apple did on their Final Cut software, which they released the new Final Cut Pro 10 back in 2011, which replaced the Final Cut Pro 7. And till to date, Final Cut Pro 10 still around using the same name, same versions. And the improvement were made throughout the time in just a form of uh, updates. Well, technically Vegas Pro 19 should be the last version of Vegas Pro software, which is last year. But I don't know why Magix decided to release the version 20 this year. Uh, so I assuming maybe they want to end the Vegas Pro in an even number, which is the version 20. So yeah, that's just my assumption. As you can see, when 19 was released, big features was added on the program. And it doesn't stop there. It keeps growing to be better every time they make an update. So I'm hoping for the same thing for the version 20. And I hope this is the last uh, version for Vegas Pro. All right. So anyway, let's stop talking and let's uh, walk through the program and show you guys the new stuff that they add on the on the program okay all right guys so here we are inside vegas pro 20 as you can see it's not much of difference if we compare with the previous version which is the version 19 okay and to be honest this year release it's not much of features they don't pack it with a lot of stuff when they first release like previously version 19 uh there's few actually but in this video i only gonna cover three new features that i feel worth mentioning all right so let's start off with the vegas hub under the hub explorer so they added these two new things here one is file drop and one is vegas project now file drop let's create a new file drop here okay now file drop is all about um sending a link to your client or whoever the person that receiving the link from the file drop and he or she that receiving the link can upload the materials okay it can be videos photos zip files or pdf or anything to that link and once they uploaded the file it will update it inside your vegas pro and from your vegas pro uh hub explorer docking panel you press sync it will download it into your computer and it will show up right over the file drop uh, catalog and from there you can drag and drop it into the timeline so you don't have to go through the client or the person who want to send you a file for you to edit they don't have to go through google drive dropbox upload the files there uh, generate a link create a link send it to you and then you open google chrome or any uh, browser you use download from there it's just wasting time it can be directly done inside vegas pro okay and it works in both uh platform windows mac os and it can also be done uh, via smartphone both android and ios they just need to when they receive the link through the emails you, they just need to click on it to open it up and then upload the files to that link simple as that next one is the vegas project okay now vegas project is pretty much a catalog okay so whenever you create a project file with vegas pro 20 and save it somewhere in your computer it will show you right over here which is the vegas project so right now i have three projects that i've created with uh, vegas pro 20. so the first one here is zy padini okay if i click on that it will show all of the media as well as the batch file for this uh, project okay so i can drag and drop the media right over here in the timeline or i can simply open that project's right over here. So I don't have to minimize Vegas Pro 20, search the batch file in my computer, double click to open. I don't have to do that. I can just change to different projects anytime given right under the Hub Explorer. Pretty cool. Right, so let's moving along to the features that I really love the most, okay? 
All right, so the next feature that they added onto the program is the new white balance and HSR curve tools inside the grading panel. So let's open up our grading panel. And under utilities, we have our new white balance slider here, which is the temperature and tint. And on the right hand side here, beside the color curve, we have the new HSR curve. Especially HSL curve is something that I've been wanting for so long inside Vegas Pro and it is now finally here because back then you don't have any such tool and the only way for you to specifically adjust the hue is to use plugin. One of it is AAV Color Lab is free uh, but it's not the best or you can buy a proper high-end plugin like 3D Light Creator for example, but I feel it's not worth it spending more money on plugins when the other program like DaVinci or Adobe Premiere Pro have the similar functions by default in their grading panel. And here we are, we have the tools finally inside Vegas Pro 20. Okay, so all right, so here I have a video that is very warm. It was purposely shot this way because this is how it's supposed to look like. But let's just assume you want to neutralize the color of the video. It can be simply done using the temperature and tint slider. So let's just crank the temperature to a cooler side. Now it look a bit of magenta. So let's add a bit of a green to compensate that. And voila, it look neutralized. It look pretty normal. And all of that was done with just two simple slider. Amazing, right? So next one, we have uh, a proper clip for us to demonstrate the HSL curve, okay? So let's just say I want to change the color of the tree behind this, okay? Um, I can add a point by clicking this button here. So we already add a point and let's manipulate the hue. As you can see, it affects a lot of things here. So let's just try to properly select a specific range without spilling out on another area okay and by the way our video is only in 8 bits so it will have a difficult time to properly select the range okay and you can also right click on the points and have a selected tangent so you can manipulate um, change sort of the gradient of the selection of the hues which is I don't see such functions on DaVinci Resolve. And this is pretty amazing actually. And now our selection is much more better. Okay. And it is quite unbelievable to see such a tools in Vegas Pro because back then it was not possible. All right. So the last feature uh, or improvement I shall say on the Vegas Pro 20 is the VSC tree support. Okay. So uh, from what I've known so far, because I'm not a an expert in audio but from what i've known vegas pro in general doesn't support the latest vst3 uh, plugins uh, so if you're using Ver vegas pro 19 and below it only support vst2 now the latest vegas pro 20 support vst3 and you can finally buy or purchase uh, latest vst3 plugins and use it inside vegas pro 20. So for example, I recently bought a Wave Clarity VST plugin. It is VST tree by the way. Okay. And this plugin here are designed to reduce noise in your audio. Okay. So let's hear the dialogue without the plugin. Okay, that's how it sounds like. It's pretty noisy. So let's enable it and let's add a certain percentage to the to the uh, audio okay let's add about 50% of cleanup so let's listen to it cukup anu sendiri ah ini bukan tepung di kedai jadi anda takkan takkan dapat it sound much more better because they use neural networks some ai stuff going on here but this is the use of the plugin okay so if you have any other vst3 plugins you can use it here inside vegas pro 20 all right so that's all for the feature and highlights that I want to talk about inside Vegas Pro 20. All right, so we are already at the end of the video. I hope you guys like this video. And if you have any question related, you can leave it down in the comment section. And of course, there will be new tutorial video coming soon. But at the moment, I'm a big busy 
with my work client works and stuff so yeah um, stay tuned make sure to subscribe turn on the, noti uh, the notifications so that you won't miss any of my videos until next time